hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are making another recipe for nankatai so what i'm trying to do is make it make this nankatai as easy as possible and closer the taste uh, to the bakery style so in this bowl i have suji which is semolina all-purpose flour sugar baking powder and cardamom powder so all i'm doing right now mix all this dry ingredient in the meantime you can get a large baking tray lined with parchment paper and then preheat your oven to 350 fahrenheit now you can see everything has been mixed together and now gently add this uh, vegetable oil i'm gonna add half and then i'm gonna add the other half after i mix it now add the remaining vegetable oil then mix until combined and this whole things become a dough now i have switched by hand and now you can see how the dough is looking like just like that and now you can start taking little portion and uh, just that's my oven preheated um and then we are going to flat this and uh, arrange all of them on a large baking tray just take a knife and uh, just draw some line just like that and uh, for the amount that i'm going to give you the amount of ingredient you are going to make 15 good size of nankatai next i'm going to put some almond now it's time to bake them and let it bake until golden brown on top and all the edges are crispy nicely and i'm gonna show you how it looks like when it's done my nankatai took me 35 minutes in the oven so do not touch it if you touch it this is what's gonna happen it will break so since this one is breaking so it's been like 10 minutes since this nankatai came out the oven right now now i can uh, i'm able to grab it and uh I just want to show you it's still hot it's not ready to serve yet but I do want to show you now you can see you can you can hear the sound of the crispiness of this nanikatai hope you guys enjoy this video with me please like subscribe and I will see you next time with another one bye bye